Quickly, just before I start the video, I'm going to show you the winner of the recent giveaway. I rolled a random comment picker and this guy won the giveaway. I'm going to wait for him to respond and I'll send him the AK as soon as possible. Okay, enjoy the video. Hey, what is up you guys, welcome back. Finally, we have the new major and the new sticker capsules. That is great, but I was asked by a lot of people what is going to happen to the older capsules, to the older team stickers. For example, the 2021 Stockholm and the 2022 Antwerp in particular. Well, in this video, we're gonna go and do some research and try and find out which of those stickers and capsules are good to invest in and which are not because they're not all the same. First of all, you have to remember that the Antwerp and the Stockholm stickers are different from the current ones. The current ones have a background, while the ones from the previous two majors, they do not. And this is on the example of the Navi sticker. Now, judging by the opinion of a lot of CSGO, let's say influencers, we can tell that the community is not in love with the current background stickers. People like the stickers without a background better than they like the current ones. And that fact actually led to me making this video in the first place, because if those older ones are better, then they actually might be a good investment. But now let's look and see what else we can find. This right here is a very fun spreadsheet that I have built. These are the teams that have participated in the 2022 Antwerp tournament and 2021 Stockholm, obviously. The red ones are the teams that didn't make it to the current tournament. For example, this one right here, the Contenders capsule from 2021, only has one team that actually made it to the current tournament. Every other team didn't make it, so their stickers will be discontinued for the time being, well at least until the next tournament if they make it into that. This is that contenders capsule right here and you can see that the price has been going up a lot recently. It has gone up 50% in over 10 days, so it has improved quite a bit. There's been a few spikes, right, especially at the release of the new major when people realized, oh, a lot of teams are not repeated, so they bought a lot. A lot too fast, but uh, price has recovered since then to what it should actually be. Technically, this information was available even before the start of the major, right? This list of teams that is going to play. But a lot of people didn't invest into these capsules back then. I was thinking about investing into them myself, but I didn't realize the effect was going to be to that extent. I just didn't ever have any experience with tournament capsules when the teams weren't going to be repeated and so on. I just didn't keep track of that. So now that this actually happened, I've gained knowledge about it. You can also have knowledge about it. Next time when there is going to be a new tournament and older capsules are not going to have their teams repeated, then you can make that kind of investment and get the full potential profit from it. But at this point, we need to think, is it worth investing into these capsules at this time? Let's think about it. We are going to look at the stickers from inside that capsules. Not all of them, but the more expensive ones. For example, this Virtus Pro is going up in price quite a little bit. It's not a huge improvement, it's gone up about 20% in the last month, which is significant, but is not quite 50%. Another team like that would be Tylu, which has gone up in price almost double in the last month. So I believe a lot of the capsule price growth has come from this sticker going up in price almost double in this period. And it doesn't show any signs of stopping because there's not a lot of good looking Tyler Lu hollow stickers in existence that don't have a background and so on. This might be one of the only tournaments that did have Tyler without a background. Next up would be Entropic, which has gone up about 10% in the last month. It's not a whole lot, but it's still something, and the team is not going to play in this major, so their sticker is going to continue going slightly up over this period, because people are gonna start running out of these, especially because it looks quite decent. People apply these on a lot of green weapons, and they look insanely good. And the last one from these capsules that we're gonna look at is the Copenhagen Flames Hollow. This one seems to be going for around 270, 280 right now, but it was 3 euros just a day ago. Over the last month, it has gone up in price 20%, so that is quite significant. It's kind of hard to make the decision of whether to invest into this capsule or not, right? 
7 of the 8 teams are discontinued for the time being and it's quite easy to get those hollows because they're purple not pink like the new capsules but the downside is that it does cost 90 cents on steam right now it's quite expensive it's quite a lot more expensive than it was just 10 days ago so that's why i am on the edge of whether it is actually worth it to buy this capsule okay we are unsure about this one but we can take a look at the second best capsule which would be the challengers from 2022 Antwerp because it has five red teams aka teams that are not participating in the current tournament this capsule surprisingly did not go up in price that much even after people learned about these teams not being in the next tournament there was a spike but people just kept selling it for even cheaper and cheaper and even right now after the release of the major of the new major people actually still sell it for quite cheap so you're still able to get it for around 17 on a buy order and 18 on a sell order let's take a look at the more popular stickers from within that capsule for example g2 hollow and see how it's been behaving the sticker has gone up quite a bit when people learned that g2 is not going to be playing in the new tournament but over the time has gone down in price a lot and the reason for that is that there is still an extremely high quantity of these capsules available but the thing is these capsules right now are 25 percent cheaper than they used to be when they are on discount inside the game available they were 25 cent at that time on steam and uh, right now they are 17 which is old time low and it's also an insanely low amount so here's a graph that tracks the quantity available at all times back in the beginning of october there were around 200,000 listings so the difference isn't that big right now there is 170,000 so it hasn't shifted that much but over a longer period of time for example since july august we can see that the quantity has decreased quite a bit from around 240 230,000 all the way to 170,000 right now. So I think the conclusion that you can make about this capsule is that right now seems to be the best time that you can be buying this capsule because there are two good things about it. The price is at an all time low and the quantity is also at a all time low, even though there's still quite a lot of these. Of course, there are other capsules, like for example, the Challengers from 2021, which has the big mouse stickers. This one is about 40% higher than it was a month ago and it had a huge peak when the tournament was released. The reason why that capsule has gone up in price so much is because the new stickers for Mouse Team, they're nothing compared to the older ones. The background actually doesn't look as great and the hollow itself doesn't look that great in comparison to the hollow from 2021 and judging by the Steam market graph you can see how much people have been disappointed with the new stickers. It was 740 before the tournament release it is 10 euros now that is about a 40 percent increase in price so the amount that the capsules have gone up in price by is actually justified judging by this exactly the same thing can be seen with the golden ones which went from 70 to about 104 so yeah you can notice the increase in terms of quantities the 2021 capsules actually offer a lot more confidence uh, comparing to the quantities that we see on the 2022 antwerp capsules but of course the prices are much higher as well i think it should be up to you which capsule you actually want to invest into the best ones are obviously either the challengers or the contenders from either one of course there are also the signature capsules for example the contenders from Antwerp 2022 which is actually quite important to pay attention to because the reason it is so expensive it is because the rocks hollow sticker it's about 30 euros cash right now the rocks is not in the game anymore even though the team is playing they don't have that signature so the price for this signature is going to continue going up as well as for this capsule so in terms of autograph capsules this one is by far the best to kind of draw a conclusion the factors that we have considered in this kind of assessment of the older capsules is first of all the fact that they look different they look better than the current capsules because they don't have a background secondly there are a lot of teams that are not repeating they don't play in the current tournament so their stickers will probably go up in price because People are going to continue applying them. Demand is going to stay the same. Supply, aka the quantity, is going to go down with time. So the price is going to continue going up. And third, of course, we are considering the quantity of these available. 
Some of them have higher quantities, some of them have lower quantities, therefore they might see a quicker abrupt growth. But that, of course, is only based on chance. You can't actually rely that the lower quantity items are going to continue going up in price higher because they're already so expensive. I hope you've managed to make up your mind if you were thinking of investing in these items, whether you should or not, and as well into which is the best for you. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've learned something useful and new in this video. If so, then leave a like and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.